Welcome, in this video we're going to be looking at genetics. So let's say we have the gene A and this codes for hair colour. Capital A is brown hair and small a is blonde hair. Ok, so here we have Steve, who has a big A and a small a, so Steve is heterozygous. Natasha also has a big A and small a, so she is also heterozygous. Let's work out what ratio of genes their children will have. So we're going to make it Punnett square and now we have to put the chromosomes from each parent into the square. So starting with Steve, we know that Steve can produce a chromosome with a big A and a small a. So this goes over here and Natasha can produce a chromosome with a big A and a small a and that goes over there. Now we can combine them and we get the following genotype ratios and these are the phenotypes. So we can see that the ratio is 3 to 1. Now this is called a monohybrid cross and the reason behind that is because we're looking at one gene, gene A in this case. However in A levels we get to learn about dihybrid crosses. So that means we're going to look at gene A, hair colour, brown and blonde, but also another gene, B, and we'll say B codes for hairstyle. So big B means you're going to have straight hair and small B means you're going to have wavy hair. Ok, so Natasha and Steve again, but this time we're going to put both genes in the chromosomes. That gives us the following genotypes for both individuals. Let's describe their phenotypes. We'll start with Steve. So overall A is dominant, meaning he's going to have brown hair, and B is dominant, meaning that he's going to have straight hair. Notice that we always put one gene at a time. So we do all of the A's and then we do all of the B's. Again for Natasha, brown and straight. Perfect. These are both heterozygous individuals. So let's work out what their children are going to be. To do that we're going to have to see how many different chromosomes they can produce. So Steve can produce a big A and a big B and a small a with a small b. However, we know that during meiosis 1, crossing over occurs and this causes alleles to change chromosomes, meaning that we can produce new combinations such as big A with small b and small a with big b. So these are all the chromosomes that would be found in Steve's gametes. We get the following for Natasha and again because of crossing over we're going to get these two combinations as well. And these are all of the possible combinations that Natasha can produce. Next we're going to make a Punnett square. However notice we have 4 chromosomes for each individual. 4 times 4 is 16, so we're going to need a much bigger square this time. Ok, so we have all the chromosomes, we'll just quickly remind ourselves, so we'll say that gene A is gene 1 and gene B is gene 2. Remember that for later. Ok, so this is what the Punnett square is going to look like, 4 by 4. Then we're going to put all the chromosomes on the left and on the top. So Steve's going on the left and Natasha gets to go on top. Now let's combine them and see what kind of genotype their offspring will have. We'll start with the top left one. So notice how I combined each letter at a time. So first the A's, then the B's. This offspring will have brown and straight hair. This one will have brown and straight hair as well. Let's try another one. So here, again the A's go first even though they are lowercase, followed by the B's. This offspring will have blonde and straight hair. Here's another one, brown and wavy hair this time. And finally, blonde and wavy hair. And these are all the other offspring. So in total there are going to be 16 offspring and we can also produce a ratio for these 16 offspring. And just like in the monohybrid where we had a 3 to 1 ratio, here it's going to be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So what does this mean? 9 offspring have brown and straight hair. That means gene 1 is dominant and so is gene 2. For example, big A, big A, big B, big B, or big A, small a, big B, small b. In both scenarios, gene 1 is dominant and so is gene 2. Three offspring will have brown and wavy hair. That means 
gene 1 is dominant and gene 2 is recessive. 3 will have blonde and straight hair. This time gene 1 is recessive and gene 2 is dominant. And finally one offspring will have blonde and wavy hair. So both genes are recessive. So make sure you memorize the 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio which occurs in dihybrid heterozygous crosses. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.